Hey, what's good, guys? Poli Popo here, and today I want to talk about the NPC 2.7 update. Um, I released a video not too long ago about uh, how Akai dropped the ball and this and that. And uh, well, there are some good things that you can do with the uh, NPC update, and that's integrated with Ableton. Now, I know a few people that are really good with Ableton; they don't even use the NPC software. Um, but me personally, I I was kind of let down by it, and uh, as a beta tester, when I mean I've, I've sent out so many forms on this song mode thing, and it's still messed up. It still comes back to sequence one. Um, it's insane. Like whenever you try to, I mean, there were so many notes in there. Is what I'm trying to say for them to look at before they released it, and they just went ahead and released it. Now I'm in the food, so. If I see that somebody dropped a steak or something like that on the floor, I don't work in a steakhouse, but to say if somebody dropped a steak on the floor and they're like, hey man, you might want to replace that and this and that as a beta tester, you know, requesting to replace it and, and they just brush it off, put it on the plate and give it to the customer. It's kind of how I feel whenever they gave us that update. Um, I don't know how many other updates were like that, but I know I was in for the 2.7 and it really it doesn't add much to the MPC workflow it doesn't hurt your workflow it actually improved quite a bit of bugs so it's good to go it's it's a legit update but as far as like in controller mode it's going to be different in in standalone mode in controller mode you, to integrate it with Ableton you're going to have to have you know that software and the computer power and everything to be able to talk wirelessly and everything like that it could it could be a little uh, pretty penny um, getting that set up so I was kinda wanting more of a standalone feature you know I didn't get this for it to be an MPC touch or an MPC renaissance or anything like that so you know for future updates make sure that they're compatible and standalone too especially like uh, the channel mixer like whenever you go in here the the GUI looks different like I say there are some bugs that have been fixed uh, don't get me wrong so yeah go ahead and download it it doesn't do anything bad to your system it will help anything that you've been uh, having problems with but as far as like naming initialized patches and saving them turning it off like I like to make my own sounds and then if I name it you know, thunder sound and I work hours on it and I save it and that's the beauty of the MPC that you can save it it doesn't save the name of the sample and I, I think it does do the sound but it won't do the sample name which is ridiculous and that was a request and it's still not fixed so hopefully in, by the time 3.0 comes out or something like that which I also wanted to bring in the pad mixer and channel mixer now you can go into live mode and the channel mixer is all like like back in the day I made a video saying I wish the mixer was like on the screen you know so you can kinda of just go like that and they did that on the uh, software uh, which is really really dope and like I say if you're into Ableton and clip modes and all that stuff can be really really legit um, which a lot of people are gonna utilize this I'm pretty sure for like live stuff but the big thing for me is standalone so I'm not very enthusiastic about this whole update you know what I'm saying um, but it did uh, give you a few updates to where it does perform better than before um, if you've looked at some of my earlier videos you can see that it uh, had problems in song mode and it wouldn't convert to the next sequence it would only do one three five nine it was a big mess but now all that's good except it, it goes it, it's still not a hundred percent but they released it anyway but um, I don't know I'm not knocking the box or anything like that I just don't like how the company um, seems to be going that way and you know I'm not trying to hate on the company but they really should listen to the beta testers you know what I'm saying um, other than that it's a Linux based operating system so it's not too hard to get in here and program it to be multi-timbral it's really not you just look at the code from the MPC uh, 2000 or the MPC uh, 
1000 that would do it and copy the code and put it into Linux. It's Linux based so you just need a laptop and figure a way to hook it up into here. And if I got to I will but man I don't want to wreck my ex doing that. Anyway guys I'm Poli Popo. If you're new to the channel man I try to keep you updated with what's legit on this thing and uh, different workflow so um, I would say that it's good to go but if you're not wanting to use your computer you know or, or stand alone it doesn't really add much it just fixes a little some issues right on I'll talk to you guys later I'm gonna make some music now